<laughs> Welcome to another episode. Today we're replacing the front brake pads on this Nissan Maxima. And I really have nothing else to say, so let's go ahead and let's begin. All right, so the first step is we need to remove this cap here to the master cylinder. Just remove that, and now we can move on to the next step. So now what we need to do is remove this 14 millimeter nut, which is located right here, and then the caliper will swing up and we'll have clear access to the brake pads. And very often what I'll use is a hammer Rather than, rather than hurting your wrist and your hands, go ahead, get a, a hammer, and then tap the, uh, the bolt loose. And then the caliper just swings up. And now you have clear access to the brake pads. Now before you reinstall your new brake pads, what you need to do is compress the piston back into the bore of the caliper. And to do that really you have uh, a couple of options. Number one, I've seen people use channel lock pliers, very, very large pliers, and compress the piston in. The method that I'll use is placing a block of wood, or even the old brake pads for example, and compressing the piston back in with the C-clamp. And as you do this, just keep an eye on the fluid in the master cylinder because sometimes it may overflow and brake fluid is very corrosive to your paint. So just be careful of that. Now before we reinstall the caliper, make sure you go ahead and apply some silicone grease on back of the brake pads on both sides. So a little grease here and a little grease on the back side of the other uh, brake pad. We'll also grease this lower pin back here and I'll show you that in a second and also the sliding pin on the caliper. So let's start with the brake pads and again this is just silicone grease very often when you purchase the brake pads uh, from the parts store they'll uh, they'll ask you if you want this stuff so just make sure you apply it on both sides now you also have this sliding pin with a rubber boot over it clean off any of the old grease here and if you want you can remove the boot which we'll do as you can see uh, this is actually in really good shape now these sometimes solidify into the bracket if that happens uh, what you can use are channel lock pliers and really put some muscle into it and you'll slowly be able to extract this pin from the bracket uh, and once you do that, just clean off all of the grease and then reapply brand new silicone grease. Just apply it. Apply a good amount. 
on there. And of course, don't forget the rubber boot that goes over it. And just reinstall it into the bracket. And in regards to these flak roofs, you want them pointing parallel to the ground. In other words, you don't want them you don't want them pointing vertically up and down. You want them horizontal and parallel to the ground. And there's one last point right here. You just want to clean off. Just slide the caliper. Just be careful because you don't want to kink the brake line. And you also have some grease here. So clean off this pin as well. We'll apply brand new silicone grease and reinstall everything back together. And that's it, so just go ahead, make sure you do the exact same thing on the other side, and then we'll go ahead and wrap everything up. And as a last step, just go ahead, press down the brake pad, and by third, fourth time, it should be nice and firm.